today we have five brand new trail building hacks and tips and I really think that you guys are gonna find these useful. So let's get right into this. Tip number one is to always have a tarp ready. If there's a possibility of a heavy rain, I recommend that you take a tarp with you. You can either take just a piece of flat, normal tarp or you can take a tent. You can set the tarp up or you can leave it in your backpack ready to go. What if I told you that this was a free Kleiner meter? Actually, it's just a piece of string, but if you combine it with an app, it's a free Kleiner meter. Now, we all know that you can just download an app on your phone and boom, you have a Kleiner meter. The problem with this is that it measures a very small portion of the trail and that's not ideal. So, all you have to do is take a bit of string, roll it up on a stick, you and your buddy go stand on level ground and you see where the string meets evenly with both of you. Now you guys walk your separate ways, him going downhill, you going up the hill and the string will give you an average of the hill slope. So instead of putting your phone on the ground, you put your phone on a string and you get a measurement from the string. <laughs> you suck at that, dude. Tip number three is to take a bag with you. This is basically a portable wheelbarrow. You can fold it up, put it in your bag, you can make your own, you can buy your own, and together you guys can carry just about anything. Tip number four once again has to do with the bag, but what if this time you're alone on the hill and you gotta carry something heavy? Take your tool, thread the handle through the bag's handle, and boom, now you have a handle by which you can drag the bag. Yes, this will very likely destroy your bag, but it's better than nothing and if that's your only option, this might come in handy. Yeah. Tip number five is to make your own flags. All that you're gonna need to make your own flags is some old spokes and tape. Once you have a whole pile of old spokes, you can sit down, listen to some music, and relatively quickly, you'll end up with a bunch of flags. This is cheap, it's effective, and if you don't wanna buy flags, this may be a great option for you. And personally, I don't see how this works any differently from the flags that you would buy. Thank you for watching, guys. We have a whole tips and hacks playlist. You can click on it over here, or you can subscribe so you can get notified when new videos come out. See you guys next week.